Good evening and welcome to the dedication of Annette Gordon-Reed Elementary School. My name is Shelley Winkler and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Schools. It is an honor to be with you here tonight and at this time the Conroe High School Army JROTC will present the colors. Once the colors are presented, Zoe and Lydia Valentine will lead us in the pledge to the United States flag and Christopher Dunleavy, AZ Stork and Remy Wolf will lead us in the pledge to the Texas flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and divisible. Thank you to Zoe, Lydia, Christopher, AZ, and Remy. You may all be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize some very special guests. These people play a very important role in the establishment and development of our school. Please hold your applause until each group of guests has been introduced. From the Conroe Independent School District Board of Trustees, President, Mr. Skeeter Hubert. Second President, Ms. Mrs. Teresa Wagaman. Assistant Secretary, Ms. Stacy Chase. And immediate past President, Mr. Datron Williams. Thank you. <laughs> From Conroe Independent School District Administration, Dr. Curtis Knoll, Superintendent. Dr. Chris Hines, Deputy Superintendent. Ms. Lisa Garrison, Director of Elementary Schools. Dr. Bethany Medford, Assistant Superintendent for Middle Schools. Dr. Ida Saseda Upshaw, Assistant Superintendent for Teaching and Learning. And Ms. Carrie Gladys, General Counsel. We would also like to recognize the staff from Gordon Reed Elementary, which is led by Principal Sean Cresswell and her assistant principals, Mr. Gabe Hernandez and Katie Sue Trykoff. Will the Gordon Reed staff please stand and be recognized at this time? We are so very proud of Mrs. Cresswell and her entire staff for the hard work that has led up to this celebration this evening. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Ashley Wright and Mrs. Rachel James, the counselors of Gordon Reed Elementary, to the stage to share about the school motto and mission. They will be joined by Remy Wolf and London Grant, who will share what it means to be a Gordon Reed Cub. Good evening, my name is Rachel James and I am honored to speak about our school's mission at Annette Gordon-Reed Elementary. Our mission is to ensure exceptional learning and growth for, for all students. With explicit instruction, resources, and continuous professional development, we work hard to create a positive school culture that not only celebrates student achievement, but continues to build positive relationships between our students, staff, and families. We know student achievement begins with character development, and it is a critical skill for student success. We have developed a campus-wide character education program, Cubs with Character, that models foundational pillars to help our students succeed academically, socially, and emotionally as lifelong learners. These pillars we believe necessary for student success are respect, responsibility, 
collaboration, gratitude, honesty, kindness, perseverance, empathy, and citizenship. Upon these core values, we form the attitudes and actions that are the hallmark of safe, healthy, informed communities that serve as the foundation of our society. My amazing counseling partner will now speak about our school's motto. Greetings, my name is Ashley Wright and I am beyond blessed to speak about our school's motto. Believe, grow, achieve. Believe, grow, achieve. These words are deeply rooted in the actions of students, our teachers, and our community that help to support positive mindsets, increase resilience, and maintain academic success throughout the school year. We believe truly that every individual throughout this campus, student and staff, has the unlimited potential to be the best version of themselves. With the support of our amazing administration team, teachers, family, and our community service providers, we also have an amazing comprehensive school counseling program that supports the mission and the motto of our campus, providing a variety of services for all students throughout their stages of growth in those areas of academic, career and social emotional development. This is what it truly means to believe, grow, and achieve as one. The power of school connectedness, a dynamic collaboration between school and the community members helping our students surpass daily challenges, soar to new heights, and work towards the future they desire. We would now like to introduce you to two strong, amazing young student leaders to share their own reflections to our school motto. Please welcome Remy Wolf and London Grant. My name is Remy Wolf, and I am a fifth grade student council member, and I would like to share with you what it means to be a true Annette Gordon Reed Cup. A Gordon Reed Cub is respectful, responsible, and kind. We are hardworking and have positive attitudes. For me, in Annette Gordon Reed Elementary, I feel welcomed every day when I walk in. The teachers are very kind and help you reach your goals you set. Our motto here is believe, grow, achieve. To believe means to believe in yourself and you can do anything you put your mind to. To grow means to put in the hard work and grow as a student. To achieve means to set goals, work hard, and be successful. The students at Annette Gordon-Reed have the best teachers and staff. They will help us set and reach our own goals and allow us to become the best versions of ourselves. I am proud to be an Annette Gordon-Reed cup. Hi, my name is Lennon Grant, and I'm a sixth grade student council member. As an as an Annette Gordon Reed Cub, I think it means to do your best and help others in need, like with schoolwork, giving a smile, or playing with them, so we can all be successful. I really enjoy the positive energy here at school. All the teachers push you to do your best and are always cheering you on. At Annette Gordon Reed Elementary, Cubs try to make everyone feel welcome. This is like our second home. This school is filled with kindness and activities, and I hope we represent it well. As you know, we always say our motto and chant, believe, grow, achieve, but do we really know what it means? I think believe means to believe in yourself and that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Grow to learn from your mistakes and give yourself time and grace. Lastly, achieve to be happy with what you've done and for your hard work to pay off. I am proud to be in Annette Gordon Reed Cup. Thank you so much for sharing those words. Remy and London, thank you for being models for our current and our future Gordon Reed Cubs. Now we have a special presentation. Our Gordon Reed fifth and sixth grade choir will perform Sing Your Song by Greg Gilpin. The Gordon Reed Choir is led by Mrs. Katherine Stoliker. Please welcome to the stage the fifth and sixth grade choir at Gordon Reed Elementary.
just makes you happy, doesn't it? Tonight, we also have a special guest who has traveled here from Washington, D.C. to participate in this evening's program. I would now like to invite Mrs. Samantha Hunter Gibbs to the stage to make her presentation. Hi there. My name is Samantha Hunter Gibbs and I'm the director of K-12 Education at the White House Historical Association in Washington, D.C. It is an honor for me to be here tonight to represent the association at this event. The White House Historical Association is dedicated to the preservation of the White House and to learning from all of the people who worked there over the course of its history. We were privileged to collaborate on a program with Annette Gordon-Reed in our History Happy Hour series about President Thomas Jefferson. Her insights into the complexities of our third president and his households at Monticello and the White House sparked a tremendous flurry of questions and comments from our viewers. It remains one of our most popular programs of the series. We are very grateful for her participation. In a broader sense, my colleagues who are educators, historians, and librarians at the association are deeply inspired by Annette Gordon-Reed and her work to share the whole of the American experience, including the stories of those whose lives have previously been excluded from the historic record, but have great impacts on the trajectory of history. Her work is an inspiration to my colleagues and me and to those of us who are committed to studying and sharing our nation's history. On behalf of the White House Historical Association, I congratulate Annette Gordon-Reed and the Conroe Independent School District on this historic event. In honor of this occasion, the association is making a contribution of several of its most popular children's books for the school's library. Those include titles like Rocco Travels with the President, A White House Alphabet, I'll hold it up a little higher, um, and Diana's White House Garden, among others. Additionally, in 2023, um, we are excited to welcome a teacher from the Gordon Reed Elementary School to the White House History Teacher Institute. I thank you again for the honor of participating in today's events and I'm very pleased to celebrate with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wonder if it's too late to become a Gordon Reed teacher so I could go to the White House. <laughs> At this time, we are going to welcome to the podium our Board of Trustees President, Mr. Skeeter Hubert, uh, for a few special remarks. All right. Well, thank you very much. I, I promise to be brief. Um, I've been accused of never meeting a mic that I didn't like, but I promise I won't be that long. But I, I did want to say we're really honored to have your name here on this school. It's um, it's it's really neat. It's it's more than neat. It's a it's a it's an honor for us to be able to acknowledge you in this way. Um, learning a little bit more about you, about your your mother was a teacher at Conroe High. It's pretty special. Uh, so education is just in you, and there's a there's a bust of you in downtown and a mural right next to Roy Harris. I mean, if we're going to honor Roy Harris, we can certainly honor you. <laughs> um, but I remember, and by the way, I have a couple of thank yous, but I'm going to speak from the heart for just for a quick second. Whenever it came time for the school to to uh, to name this location, um, there are several things that I get really heavily involved with at our district. Um, that I love. I love serving. But one of the things that I, I, I don't is really the, the school naming. I kind of rely on other board members and, and the community to kind of give us some suggestions as to who they think it should be. And I remember that night as we were coming down that agenda item, uh, I looked over at Mr. Datron Williams and he had his phone open to this Annette Gordon Reed person. And, and I said, well, who is that? And he slid his phone over and I started reading through that. And I kept, as I scrolled down, it just dawned on me that there's no other choice. This has got to be who this school is going to be after. Um, and so it was unanimous when your name was, was uh, submitted by 
Mr. Dachin Williams, uh, it was a unanimous choice to, to name this school after you. So we were honored to get to do that. And then on a, on a personal note, um, Bonnie and I dropped our son off, our oldest son off at school. Um, and he actually went to Southern Virginia. It was really exciting. We took a little vacation time and we actually went to Monticello and checked out some stuff. And I was in the, uh, the uh, um, gift shop and I came across a book, Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings, Annette Gordon Reed. And I couldn't pass up buying it and shamelessly I brought it and I had to have your signature. So, <laughs> so I got that. So I'm very proud of that. But we do have a beautiful school. It is, it is an honor for us to have you here. And I would like to thank the planning and construction department on what they've been able to put together for us for IBI Group and Durotech Construction. And, and all of you that have been involved in building this school, uh, it, it turned out beautifully. So thank you for coming. Thank you for allowing us to honor this school with your name. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Curtis Nall. Proud to be your superintendent here in Conroe ISD. What a wonderful night. Uh, what can be better than having these children sing? I think it just it makes everything right in the world. If we could just uh, have more of the children's voices in this world to drown out some of the other things that are uh, going on. It's always an honor when we have these dedication ceremonies. This is a very select group of people. When you think about a community as large as our community and how many millions of people have come and gone and made an impact in our community and yet we have 67 schools and not all of them have proper names named after a person there are very few that really get this honor one of the things that i always praise our board on and i appreciate the fact that they do this is that they don't wait until someone is no longer with us to honor them with this because uh, it's a gift to the namesake, but it is a gift to the family and it's a gift to the school district. When we as educators have the person still with us that we can look up to. And so I want to make just a couple of introductions tonight because anytime we have school namesakes in a room together, it's, it's a moment for us. And so uh, I've, I want to introduce you to other folks that are here tonight that have buildings named after them in Conroe ISD. We have Mr. Walter Jett, here tonight, the Jet Center, our teacher training center is named after him. We have an elementary school in the Woodlands that is named um, for a young man that you probably no doubtably heard of back in the 80s, David Vetter. Uh, some of you may have known him as David the Bubble Boy as he was referred to. But his mother is here, and we, we treat her as a namesake, and we love her dearly. Miss Carol DeMerritt is here. Thank you. And then one of our newest school namesakes, uh, who will be retiring in December, our current deputy superintendent, Dr. Chris Hines, as well, is here. And there are a lot of great reasons to name schools after people. And for, for us, it is inspirational. And I could stand up here and I could say that we named the school after Annette Gordon-Reed because she's Ivy League educated and she's a professor uh, at Harvard and she's a Pulitzer Prize winner and all those wonderful things. And that's all, all those things are glorious and important. But as a former Conroe High School principal and the father of two Conroe High School graduates, and I look across this room, another great thing to say about this school namesake is she's a Conroe Tiger, yeah. right? We have our principal here tonight, Dr. Tasha Smith, principal of Conroe High School. All right, class of 77, stand up. Let's see you. Let's see, how, let's see you proud. Conroe Tigers. All Conroe graduates, if you would stand up. Any Conroe High graduates, please stand up as well. All right. So probably 
within the first week of me being named a Conroe High School principal way back in the day, someone came in my office, and I don't remember who, but I'm going to guess it was Swanette. But I don't know that for sure, but I'm going to guess, guess it was Swanette. Uh, came to my office and said, did you know that we have a Conroe High School graduate that's a Pulitzer Prize winner? I said, no, I didn't know that. So that moment started my fandom of Annette Gordon-Reed. So I started my process of learning more about her and, and reading and learning. And I've had uh, opportunities now to uh, speak at the dedication of the mural in downtown Conroe and be present at the bust uh, dedication in, in downtown Conroe and all those things are really neat. And then we go through this process of naming the school. And it's, it's really incredible. And I will tell you, uh, as we saw from Mr. Hubert kind of uh, fanboying a little bit, uh, it's okay, we all did, we've all done it. Uh, I can remember when I, I tweeted out the night that we named this school. And you, you look at my Twitter and you see things like the Harvard Law School retweet you. And you're like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, all right. That's, uh, that's something else. So then, you know, Mr. Hubert called me when he was at Monticello and said, hey, you're not going to believe this. I just bought this book. Like, this is Because it was like a week or two after we had misnamed the school. It was really incredible. And then there was a process as we're going through and we're, we're working on the school color and the mascots for the school. And so... Uh, Professor Gordon Reed and I would text back and forth a few times. And there was one day that I texted her and took a few hours to respond. No, no big deal. She's a busy lady. Until she responded back to me and said, oh, I'm sorry. I was out of pocket. I was at the White House um, <laughs> with the president celebrating the Juneteenth. Uh, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is a different. <laughs> I understood why you didn't take my call. There's so many reasons to name a school after somebody and, it, and so many lessons that can be learned. I think for us, for all of us in this room, you are a parent of a child in Conroe, you are a teacher in Conroe, or you are a kid yourself. What this moment should prove to you is that our children here have no limits. They can do anything that they put their mind to. They can be anyone that they wish to be. And they can reach any and all heights coming from Conroe, Texas. And we have Annette Gordon-Reed to thank for showing us the way. And I'm proud that we have this school here to remind all of us as parents and as educators to not set limits for our children. Believe that they can do all things. So thank you. Professor Gordon-Reed for giving us this moment and allowing us to put your name on this school. It's truly an honor for us. Thank you very much. We are now going to turn to a video uh, in honor of Professor Gordon-Reed. I'm Sue Ann Herford and I attended Conroe High School uh, at the same time that Annette Gordon-Reed was there, we were on the Flair staff together, which was the yearbook staff, and we got to spend a whole year working together on the yearbook. My name is Barry Blanton. I was born and raised in Conroe, Texas, and I met Annette in the seventh grade at what was then Travis Junior High. We shared classes at Travis and then on through high school and we probably spent the most time together and worked the most together when we were on the Flair staff, the yearbook staff, in high school. In the 1970s, when we were creating the Flair, it was very different than it is now. We worked on these big pieces of, of four-part paper that were called quad packs, and we had to draw all the little spaces where pictures were gonna go. And it was a, a huge undertaking. Annette was part of the, the classes section of the flair. So her job with her team was to get all of the seniors, the juniors, the sophomores, the freshmen, those little pictures in the right place, in the right order, with the right name. So it had to be a person that was very organized and, and very serious about getting all of that right and 
that was Annette's job. I, I remember spending a lot of time in the yearbook staff room at Conroe High School, and uh, Annette was part of that uh, part of that staff, and we spent a lot of time together. And I just remember her having a great, quick wit, and a good sense of humor, and a really great laugh. Not only was she on the yearbook staff, she was also on the Triumph staff, the school newspaper as well. When I was meeting with Mrs. Spencer one day, and um, she said, "You know, my dream is that we could have." Annette Gordon-Reed come here and talk about her book on Juneteenth. And uh, we were able to fill the Owen Theater. I think we had nine empty seats at the end of the day. And, and it was just wonderful. It was wonderful to have her back uh, in Conroe and to talk to everybody. There were, you know, people that knew her from, from school, a lot of her teachers, Marshall Topple taught her. He was there taking pictures. It was, it was just a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. And I found out um, later that a lot of the young ladies that were there, I saw them taking pictures with Annette, and I found out that they were from her school. They had already been hired to start there, and they were so excited about coming and, and meeting her that day. And I think she was thrilled to have her picture taken with those ladies. Well, I just think it's such a great honor for her. I couldn't have predicted the accolades and successes and accomplishments that she's had, but I'm not surprised at all by them. Uh, we always knew that she was bright and intelligent and hardworking and, and really did things with a passion even back in high school. And what she's accomplished doesn't surprise me in the least. I think it is absolutely wonderful to have a school named after Annette Gordon-Reed. She has excelled so much in her life to achieve everything that she's done, the Pulitzer Prize for the books that she's written, the research that she's done. And Annette having the school named after her um, is, is not only is it an honor to her, but I think that she is such an example to kids as to what they can accomplish in life and what they can do if they set their mind to it and they, and they work hard at it like she did. And I just think that that being a role model is a great thing for kids that are part of that school and a part of this district. I think it's wonderful for children in Conroe to be able to, to know her from her school to be able to see her picture and her bus downtown and to think, indeed, anything is possible. It is my honor to welcome and introduce our school namesake, Professor Annette Gordon-Reed. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. This is overwhelming, it's wonderful. I have to say I could not have imagined that anything like this would ever happen. I would have to say that my mother would imagine it. <laughs> my father, maybe not so much, <laughs> a bit more cynical, not about me, but about the place, I should say. But. This is really, and I mention them because this is really about the two of them. It is particularly about my mother who put so much time and energy and faith into me. It's hard to imagine anybody working any harder or believing in anybody more fiercely than she did. And so this is, this is for my parents and I'm deeply grateful for this honor. I have to say, that I was skeptical at first. I resisted. I am of two minds about his laugh. Uh, you know, I'm of two minds about the idea of naming things after people who are alive. I think it's a wonderful thing to honor people while they're living. I don't have any plans to do anything crazy. <laughs> but they talked to me and I said, because I thought about my parents and how, what it would have meant to them. And some of my 
parents' friends are still alive and they would learn about it and know about it and so I decided to go ahead and I'm very, very glad that I did. I'm so thankful to my classmates who spoke wonderfully about me on the film, uh, the people who showed up, my debate partner, Jim Devlin from Corpus Christi, for heaven's sakes, who I don't think I've seen since 1977. None of these, many of these people I haven't seen since 1977. Uh, it's fantastic and I'm glad to see you all here and ah, I have such hopes and such faith I, in these, the children who are coming to this beautiful school. They gave me a tour today and it's just been wonderful. So thank you all for coming very much and I'm glad I got a chance to say hello to you and I hope that I get to see you again. Maybe come back for first graduation. They were, I've invited me to do that and I'm hoping I'll be able to. But thank you so much. And at this time, Mr. Hubert and Dr. Knoll will unveil the portrait of our namesake, Professor Annette Gordon-Reed, that will hang in the front of our school. To help all who visit the school, we also have a display case at the front of the school, so please be sure to view it before you leave this evening. We thank you all for attending this very special event. Many people made valuable contributions for this evening, including the staff and administration of Annette Gordon-Reed Elementary, Mrs. Sarah Blakelock, and our communications team. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for helping us celebrate this incredible individual and our new world-class school. Enjoy the remainder of the evening and have safe travels. But if you're a part of the class of 1977, Mr. Barry Blanton is requesting your presence on the stage. So thank you for coming. We hope you enjoy the evening.